Hey everyone, Vinayak here. The air quality is worsening, especially in cities as there are tons of vehicles flying on the roads and being lucky to be living in a city with low pollution, there still is some. This pollution is toxic to us, so in order to fight back and to make sure that we have clean air to breathe, at least at home, I have here the Cubo Q500 Smart Air Purifier. Does it really work? Let's check it out in this video. Today I have with me the Cubo Q500 Smart Air Purifier. Cubo is part of the Hero group of companies. Opening up the box, we have the manual. Now for the purifier. It comes completely assembled, so nothing to put together. This looks quite stylish in white and with a black section housing the controls on top and the display. We have instructions to remove the filter from the poly bag first. The filter is accessed through this section here at the bottom. Just twist and the cover opens and here's the filter. Remove the poly wrap. This filter has multiple layers, HEPA H13 filter to capture particles as small as 0.3 microns and supports PM2.5. Activated carbon absorbs VOCs, gases, odors and traps larger particles. Silver nano to kill bacteria and viruses and a pre-filter for larger particles like pet fur, cigarette smoke and dust. All of it is in this nifty little replaceable filter. Let's install the filter back, close the bottom cover. Now the purifier is ready for use. Here's the power cord, 2 pin plug and it has a 6 foot wire. It's attached and non-removable. This front pattern looks so nice. It looks like a diamond pattern. There's one in the front and also the back. This is the exhaust where the purified air would enter the room. The back and front are the air intakes. We have the speakers here which would audibly indicate the status of the air purifier. The purifier is rated for 45 watts. So let's turn the purifier on. We need to maintain at least one foot distance from the wall so that the purifier gets enough air. The buttons are capacitive so they are touch sensitive. The button in the center is the power button. Tap and the purifier turns on. The display in front indicates the current AQI or air quality index. The value is slowly rising as it's still measuring. The LED below shows the quality too. And on top the controls are the first button is to enable QSense AI mode. Second button is to schedule how long the purifier needs to run and we can set 1, 2, 4 or 8 hour schedules manually. Here's the fan speed option. We have auto and we can cycle between 1, 2 and 3 to set the speed of the fan. We have PM2.5 displayed on front and AQI and this Wi-Fi symbol. So this is the smart part of the air purifier. It can connect to your Wi-Fi and it also can be controlled by our smartphone or even your smart assistant which I will show later. After running for some time, you can see that the AQI has come down to safe levels and the LED below lights up green. Here's an agarbati. We can see the AQI rise, indicating that the air needs to be purified. The air purifier has also ramped up the fan to draw in the air faster to purify it. We can see the smoke being pulled into the air purifier and it comes out filtered from the top. The filter within is a HEPA filter and it would help catch all the floating pollutants, making the air cleaner. We have key combos on top, as visible by these markings. On the right, when we hold down the fan and auto buttons together for a few seconds, the panel is locked. This is to prevent children from playing with the purifier and changing your settings. On the left is the reset the filter count. This is mostly done when you install a new filter. The LED color would change as per the quality of the air. Green indicates excellent air quality, orange indicates medium air quality and red indicates poor air quality. The air quality is measured by the PM2.5 sensor. The Q500 can handle a room up to 500 square feet in size with a cadre of 350 m3 per hour. It takes the purifier around 10 minutes to clean the air in the room and that would also depend on how big your room is. Now for the smart features. Connecting it to your smartphone is super easy. Install the Cubo app. I already have it installed. We need to add a new device. Follow on-screen instructions to get the purifier into pairing mode. It is found and displayed in the list. I am renaming it to Air Purifier for ease in voice control later. Now we can control the purifier using the app. We have virtual buttons similar to the ones on the Air Purifier. You can switch it on via the app. Auto mode option is here. Sleep mode, manual mode and the QSense AI mode. We can see the current AQI on the app which is a live reading from the device. Manual mode allows for manual control. We can set the fan speed as we would like it to be. 
Low settings is the quietest with medium also being just about audible. High is also not audible much but we do know that the purifier is on. We can see the insights on how the air quality was during the day, week, month, year etc. As I have had it only for a few days I have only little data. We can set the child lock wirelessly, set up a schedule on time to turn on and off and which days it should activate. We can also set it to run for a certain number of hours. Just select the desired runtime and the air purifier will turn off automatically once the timer is complete. We can set all this even if we are away from home. Filter life allows us to see how long the filter would last. When new it can run for around 9000 hours when 100%. When we replace the filter, make sure to reset the filter life. Advanced settings, you can set silent mode if you don't want to hear the beeps or any notifications. We can set how bright the LEDs are from here. Now you remember I had renamed this device to Air Purifier. Using Alexa or Google Home, we can turn the purifier on or off via voice. Alexa. Turn on air purifier. Okay. And there you have it. The purifier is on. Turn off air purifier. Okay. And the purifier turns off. Pollution is a big concern and this purifier at least makes it easier to provide purified air for our family. This would improve the overall health of everyone at home. The smart features and app integration is a plus at the price point. And uh, we are not provided a remote as we can control all the functions via the app. So how do you guys like the Cubo Q500 Smart Air Purifier? Do you use a purifier at home? Make sure to comment which one below. Also make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.